Chamonix, the legendary climbing town at the foot of Mont Blanc, is always a highlight on the IFSC tour, and so it proved in 2018 with a reported 15,000 spectators watching the action live in the town centre. Jane Kim is a previous winner in Chamonix, as she is in most regular IFSC venues, but she couldn't add to her 27 World Cup wins. She came close though, falling three moves short of the top. Yanni Garmbrecht isn't used to coming second in lead World Cups, but despite her best efforts, she had to settle for silver in Chamonix after nearly topping the final route, falling on the final move. Jessie Piltz had been on a World Cup podium 10 times before coming to Chamonix, but she'd never been on the top step. That all changed in the shadow of Mont Blanc when she topped the route and claimed her first ever gold medal in the most iconic of venues. After the women's final, it was the men's turn and what a lineup we had, with a nice combination of newcomers and established legends. Alex Megos is a legend of the climbing world, but he's never won a World Cup. He claimed close today in Chamonix, taking third and with it, his second IFSC podium. We're seeing more and more of Alex at World Cups, so stay tuned. Jakob Schubert won last time out in Vilar, and this season looked close to his imperious best. But in Chamonix, he took silver despite a huge battle. He didn't quite figure out one of the last moves, and it cost him his shot at the top. But two medals in two events is a superb return for him so far in 2018. Despite having won three World Cups, Stefano Gasolfi had never tasted victory outside China, where all three of those World Cup wins had come from. That all changed in Chamonix when he looked in complete control and seemingly cruised a route nobody else could top. stronger in the semi-final, but they, they, they did mistakes, so I think that's why I, I climbed better. 